useful tool uh, to help you get MIDI files that you can work with in PowerTrax is to use Band in a Box program. And with the Band in a Box program, you can quickly type in chords to songs. And let's type in an, an F blues. We'll say we need a MIDI file and we don't have a MIDI keyboard. So we're going to type the chords to an F uh, blues, F ninth, B flat ninth, F ninth, etc. And then we're going to be able to um, to bring this file into PowerTracks for further work. And this saves us a lot of time, especially if we're not a uh, musician or don't have all these instruments available to us. Just like in PowerTracks, we can type in using this minus key the tempo, one, two, three, four, set the tempo. This will set a substyle marker, and here we already now have an arrangement. Uh, so we have a blues happening, and in Band in a Box, we're able to automatically add a solo to it. So let's add this, uh, this uh, solo. Now it's automatically generated the solo and the arrangement. So actually we should have set the end of the song to bar 12 there. And so let's regenerate that solo. So we'll get a proper thing that we can bring into power tracks. And if you notice, it made a different solo uh, each time it, uh, it did it. So now we can just generate a MIDI file, which we can either put on disk and file open into PowerTracks, or my favorite is just to use a clipboard, and that saves us having to write and erase a file. Once we copy to the clipboard, we now can run PowerTracks and choose, either we could choose Edit Paste, which would paste the information for the clipboard, but a better option is file open from clipboard, which opens the MIDI data and all other information that was present in our band in a box file. So now we have this file that took us probably under a minute in band in a box, and we have a full arrangement, the identical arrangement in, in uh, power tracks. So we can do things like, you know, record, we could change this to an audio track and pull out our saxophone, plug the microphone into the sound blaster and record an audio track or edit the data or look at the soloist track in the notation window. This sort of thing. So we using options like the transpose, we can bring it up an octave so it's easier to read. And you'll notice that the chord symbols all arrived from our band in a box file. And so we're able to use those in power track. So the programs are integrated in that way. Now you can save this file as a MIDI file uh, from power tracks after you've edited it.